NASA presidential blog, as presidential Twitter, is actively funding and training a group of activists in support of the government, in support of his regime, to put out his message and to communicate on behalf of his administration. So any leader can use social media tools. In China, a party called the 50 Cent Party are people who are paid by the government to tweet, to otherwise send out messages in favor of the government in support of policies. The messages that they put into social media are whatever they are paid to put in. So we have to be aware of the many political techniques that have gone on for thousands of years that are now being extended to social media. The third point I want to make is that open government and open data are critical to social media and collaboration if they're going to be effective for governance. I think you heard earlier today from Ms. Bev Godman of the U.S. federal government about some of the innovations in open government, open data, and social media from the Obama administration. These have been enormously important and influential around the world. I want to mention here something called the Open Government Partnership. This is a group of 46 countries around the world. Their website is opengovpartnership.org, or you can search for Open Government Partnership. These 46 countries have committed to open governance. Your country, Turkey, is one of them. On the Open Government Partnership website, you can find a copy of the letter from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Turkey stating that the government of Turkey has decided to join the initiative and intends to develop its action plan. The letter of intent was dated September 2011 and the action plans are supposed to be in draft form and ready by March 2012. So that's something that you might look for. By opening up more data and more of the processes of government, Turkey and other countries have the potential to move forward even more quickly by collaborating with citizens to engage their expertise and their ideas. Turkey is an ideal country for these types of initiatives because of the many, uh, the high population of youth in the country, the strong investments you have made in education, and the high level of education among so many young people in Turkey. I don't need to tell you that historically, for thousands of years, Turkey has held a critical position lying between being the gateway between East and West. In the current global situation, this position could not be more important. We already see the role of Turkey in the Middle East, in Eurasia, in Western Europe, with the United States, and much more broadly around the world. The use of social media for collaboration gives Turkey a powerful set of tools as it begins to reinforce its geopolitical position and is building civil society within the country. There are many, many challenges that go with these innovations. They include new policies that have to be developed, new laws, new regulations, greater access, continued education. But Turkey, I have no doubt, will continue to be a leader in the region so the policies and the practices that you develop regarding social media and collaboration, I am sure, will be models for the region and for many countries around the world. Thank you. It has been a pleasure to be part of the Gulf Camp in Turkey. Uh,